marvelous love of God for all of mankind. First of all, God's love is unconditional. There is no other love like the love of God. There is no greater love. He loves the unlovable. The story of John Newton is, I guess, one of the greatest proofs of the love of God to change an individual. John Newton was a notorious slave trade shipper. For many years, he was a tough cookie. During a violent storm at sea, thinking he, was, he would perish with the ship, he cried out to God and was gloriously converted. Returning home, he gave up the slave trade business, went to theological school, and became a minister of the gospel. And you're familiar, most of you are familiar with the fact that he penned the amazing grace, the great amazing grace has blessed uh, so many hearts through the years. God's love is unequaled. Secondly, the love of God is impartial. God so loved the world, all people, all races, all colors. God loves the lost. Red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in his sight. The love of God is impartial for all people everywhere. Thirdly, the love of God is unconditional. A father said to his little daughter, I love you when you're good. She looked up and said, Daddy, I love you all the time. Her love was conditional. That's the kind of love the Father has for us. Though we were formerly alienated from God, engaged in evil deeds, one translation says, He has reconciled us back to Himself through Christ Jesus. Because of His love, His love is unconditional. And then fourthly, the love of God is eternal. There is no end to His love. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3 says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. His love is unending. That promise of God is one of the great promises to the believer. I will never leave you nor forsake you, he said. What a promise. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. There's nothing that you and I can do to make God love us any less. The love of God is eternal. Eternal. The Bible has a promise that if our earthly house is destroyed or dissolved, and the Bible says that it's appointed unto man wants to die, if our earthly house, this physical body, is destroyed, we have a building from God, eternal in the heavens. That is heaven. And what a day that will be. Heaven, a place prepared for those that receive Christ. A place where there is no sickness and no pain and no sorrow and no death. The love of God is eternal. The songwriter captured that when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first began. The amazing Awesome love of Almighty God for men, women, boys, and girls. God bless you. I hope you know that love. I hope you receive that love. Bless you.